I am no longer able to represent Congressman Lantos's office, so I have to be clear that I am not speaking for Congressman Lantos's office. And quite properly, I'm also not able to speak for the office of the Congressional, 12th Congressional District, because there will not be someone elected to that office until April 8th. So I will speak for myself personally. I just want to say that we all know that Congressman Lantos did a lot in his lifetime to help Tibet human rights and other human rights causes. It seems to me that we who support Tibet are really very fortunate that so much was able to be done in Congress and in Washington before he died, not just by Congressman Lantos, but by unanimous votes of the House and the Senate again and again and again. And one of the major reasons for those unanimous votes, I feel, was the incredible example of His Holiness, but not only His Holiness, but also of many other practitioners, sincere practitioners of the Tibetan form of Buddhism, and also many, many sincere Tibetan people and their friends who have become American. So all I want to say is, we should not despair. The Buddhist philosophy that you've grown up with, and it just happens by chance that I've had exposure to, reminds us that where one hero completes an example and retires, there are many, many who see that example and all the others and fill the place. And we know that will happen. So all of the people here tonight who are heroes and all the many, many people who were with you earlier in the day and are with you in spirit are still with you. We do not give up. The whole world knows about Tibet. The whole world knows about what China is doing, not only in Tibet, but in China itself, in Burma, in Darfur, in many other areas, and we will, in the end, prevail. We know it. Thank you. Thank you very much, Marjorie.